hi she was seven I'm back so this video is dedicated to the young ladies out there okay so when I say young I'm like 25 and under or just young minds let's just say that okay so ladies at your age you're just getting out of school the world is new to you love is a fairy tale and love is the greatest thing on, in, on the planet right now for you guys okay falling in love is your goal being in that close intimate relationship is your goal having this special person in your life that you can spend all your time with is you know fabulous okay but you have to know one thing and take this from someone who has been there done that and learned lessons and have grown and um, understood you know what happened so first of all um, being young is being being vulnerable let's just put that out there okay it's good to be vulnerable it's good to take a risk because every time you step into the unknown territory you gain knowledge you gain information you gain a lesson okay so you know your first love or your first high school boyfriend you know you had a good time you had fun but you know when you left high school chances are you probably broke up with that boyfriend okay so now you're older and you think okay now it's time to get serious and you know and you find another boyfriend and you do all these things to try to make the relationship perfect you're the perfect woman you do everything he wants you buy him gifts you just you know make him happy all the time and he still messes up and now you're distraught because he broke your heart and you just can't think of anything else or anyone else that you want in your life and you just want this person back and it's just like okay this is going to be another lesson for you. This is not a person that you were meant to be with forever, okay, in most cases. Your first boyfriend outside of high school or your second boyfriend outside of high school is usually, you know, uh, more lessons, okay? And so you can figure out what you did wrong, what you need to do better, the kind of guy that you want, the kind of guy that you don't want, okay? Um, usually girls that young go for looks, popularity, and kind of like the bad boy type, you know. Um, so you're probably going to get the side effects of dating that kind of person, you know. Ignored, used, and possibly abused or verbally abused or uh, just more being ignored, okay. Cheated on. So the next time you choose a guy, you're not going to go for this type of guy anymore unless you're dumb and didn't learn for the first time okay you're going to choose someone more smart more on your level more into you than into himself okay you're going if you're not making these adjustments and changes after you know each relationship and you're just sticking to the same thing either a you think like you deserve that you feel like you deserve it or B, you're not learning your lessons and are doomed to repeat until you do, okay? So, if after about three relationships that have failed you, you haven't picked a decent man that likes you more than you like him and treats you good, then you're going to, you know keep repeating the same thing and that's not good okay um, if you're gonna keep going for certain things that don't work for you then that's your fault and you can't really blame anybody but yourself um, because I mean when I was younger I used to date you know really really attractive men. okay just like supermodel five six five you know stick washboard at just mm. Yes, I used, I, I used to date those type of guys. It was fun. I got looks. I was like, oh, yes, this is mine, honey. And it didn't do nothing for me after a while. I was like, okay, yeah, I got this specimen of a man, but like, okay, and that's it. That's, you can't do nothing else for me? Okay, no. Then I started meeting guys with money. And no, they weren't all that beautifulness that was that man that I I'm used to dating, but they had money. They could take me places. They had, you know, style. They had pool in the town. They, you know, they they could get you into places, 
and you know they could pay for stuff they could take you on trips and stuff and I was like okay you know um and you know I will give up the looks for the lifestyle okay so then after those type of guys that could get any woman they wanted of course because they had all that money um, and they weren't bad you know they were decent guys and like you know they could have any woman so after dating that I was like okay well this is the lifestyle that I want but I don't want to deal with these games but what lesson do I need to learn now okay so go for someone who has enough money to take care of you but not everybody else okay go for someone who's not you know a supermodel okay so go for someone who just wants a special person in their life to spend their life with and their lifestyle and their money with go for one of those type of guys okay so you know that's what came you know I, when you manifest something when you want something when you only entertain certain type of people that's what you're going to end up with okay so that is the type of man that most women want to settle with okay they don't want to settle with the person who's going to treat them like trash they don't want to settle with someone who can have anybody anytime anywhere because they're so rich and you know they want someone who's going to invest in them, their future, and their lifestyle, and their family only. So this is going to be a family-oriented guy. A lot of these guys come from the country, work their way up into, you know, a success. A lot of these guys come from small towns. A lot of these guys come from humble beginnings. A lot of these guys come from strong families. Okay, so when you meet a guy, ask him about his family. Ask him about how he grew up. And if he has a good work ethic, if he has good family structure and sound mind of what he wants, like ask, like ask all these questions. If he wants a family, if he is a hard worker, if he's established, this is the kind of man you want. You don't want someone who's always had stuff, who's spoiled, who can get whatever they want when they want, or used to women bound down. You don't want that kind of man. You want a humble gentleman who has made a success of himself, who will want you to share it with okay and there are a lot of these out there okay especially in the south this is like southern guys a lot of southern men who grew up you know with a simple life and very you know good upbringing strong hardcore values a lot of these men will come from lines of like doctors and lawyers you know pillars of the community um, some will come from humble beginnings, um, but you need to know their background because their background is important because this is how they see the world, okay? Um, Y'all, no, sorry about them scream kids. It's Labor Day. But yeah, you're going to see a lot of change as you get older and what type of men you choose to settle with, okay? You don't want to be with... Because that cute guy, that sexy guy, he's, I guarantee you he's on somebody's couch right now babysitting his own kids because that's what they do while she's at work, working, okay? I guarantee you because I've seen some of my exes and, and that's what they're all doing right now. I'm like, okay, you're, you're a winner. Uh, so, you know, go for what works for you and your future generations. Don't sit there and pine over some ex that's supposed to be a lesson and not you know your whole entire life that's a lesson you need to move on and do better with your life uh, I always ask people because you can't ever tell nobody anything they just like whatever I'm gonna do what I want don't go back to your exes never go back to your ex unless y'all were engaged y'all were married and y'all have like a future that was planned together don't go back to some ex that just broke your heart and used you up that's a lesson that's not a life partner okay a lot of people will break up and then get back with each other break up and get back with each other break up and get back with each other get used over and over again this just makes it worse I always suggest moving on moving forward getting someone better this is the best revenge that there ever will be okay if I had if I had oh I want my ex back I'd be uh, y'all already know I said this a million times if I if I tried to get my ex back and was successful I would have been doing a disservice to myself. I would not be where I am. I would probably be in some ghetto, roach-infested apartment, gunshots everywhere. That's where I'd probably be, y'all. Okay? So now, I did myself a favor by not going backwards in life, okay? 
because <laughs> like the cute guys yeah they're cute they're sexy but they don't have any they don't have a lot of ambition they don't have a lot of drive because they have so many women that will do things for them okay it's just not a good choice okay and just like if you see some very attractive women you know who can get men to do anything for them they're not going to be you know super ambitious in life either you know they're gonna be like oh well, I just get him to do it I just get him to do it and then of course as people always say your looks will fade and then they're gonna wonder what happened and they're not gonna have gone anywhere if those type of women were smart they would have started their own business by using those guys you know what I'm saying but if you keep using people and using people and using people or you keep getting used and used and used and used with no point or no purpose like if you're gonna let a man use you and he is just using you and not bettering himself, then that's, you know, that's both of y'all's fault. But if you're a woman and you're going to benefit off of a man, you need to be working towards a goal or a purpose, a business, an investment, a savings account or something. You can't just be gone and, you know, spending it up on frivolous things, okay? So I always suggest learning from your past, dating with a purpose, you know, if you're not dating to get married or have a lifetime partnership, then don't take that relationship seriously and blow it off when it breaks up, okay? Just like, oh, well, you weren't my husband anyway. You're not going to be my husband. You don't have the qualifications to be my husband. I'm moving on. You broke my heart, but, you know, you're just a lesson. Bye, okay? Y'all, stop going backwards in life. Like, it's really, it's really sad to see y'all try to go backwards um, when you're supposed to be moving forward. You know, people will betray you to show you who they really are and then you don't listen okay I knew someone who did everything for this guy you know got him an apartment did this this this, this and that of course he was cute and she, you know she was pregnant with his child and she's supposed to be going out of town right so she sneaks back in town drives her friend's car parks it outside sits there and watches her um, boyfriend's apartment which is her apartment as well now because she supposedly moved in and he's inviting girls over there so she sees this girl go in so she's like oh no you know I'm paying all the bills in that house I'm doing this I'm doing that and he's inviting girls over right so his friends go in there as well so there's guys and girls so it's like okay they're having a party so she goes and knocks on the door and they won't let her in they won't let her in they're like oh my god it's her it's her don't let her in so she goes and finds a window breaks the window with a baseball bat crawls through the window finds her boyfriend in the bed with that girl that walked in and she takes that baseball bat and breaks both his legs and his arms okay I don't know what she did to the girl but she wound up going to jail and he had a restraining order against her they had a kid together <laughs> she can't see him she can't go within a certain amount of space or anything. But I'm just trying to tell y'all. And she wanted him back after that. So I'm just trying to tell y'all how silly some of y'all women look out here. Okay. If you're going to choose this type of man, know what comes with the territory. I'm telling y'all, don't get caught up on looks because looks will land you in places that you don't want to go. Okay. Uh, women aren't supposed to be caught up on looks anyway. Okay. Y'all are supposed to be caught up on lifestyle. Lifestyle lifestyle you guys what makes you better what's going to improve you what's going to benefit you having a good looking man will not benefit you in any sort of way except being betrayed by other people and him okay so i'm gonna see y'all later all right bye